Yeah, Tally Mark number three is literally a psycho, and I don't know why I ever liked him. <laughs> Not even kidding. This is Olivia's mom and my Shut mom. The Yo, fuck? what? What? Uh, Two kids in LA whose parents were next to each other in a yearbook in Ohio. <laughs> Does this make you feel uncomfortable at all? Why? I don't know. Was us meeting Destiny? I hate to. I hate to just. Um. No. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. I think we're meant to be best friends, Logan. I. What I'm saying. You but, wrote a song about. My girlfriend told me you wrote a song about Logan Paul. Is that yeah. accurate? Am I, is my information correct? We, we don't have to talk one about song, it. You slouched out. One song, 10 songs. Who's to count? You've read more than one song. Mm -hmm. uh, that's. Th and have you talked to him about that? Oh, all I made him a CD for his birthday with all the songs I wrote about him. <laughs> when will Logan Paul tell the world about his secret girlfriend? I'll say this. Start something with bread. She's a breadstick. We call it, we call her the breadstick. That's a fact. She's shaped like a breadstick. She is. She is. And I wish I could say more about it, but I can't. But she holds that shape. And she's very talented. But we broke up, dog. I don't believe that. No, I swear to God. You've dog. been down this no, road hey, before. I'm a camp. I'm a camp. That's not true. <laughs> Yo, I'm a camp, bro. I'm a camp. I told her. I told her to, to fuck off. How long you guys hang out for? First time was like a month. And then we didn't talk for like a long time. And then hung out again for like a couple months, didn't talk again for a while, hung out again for a couple months, didn't talk again for a while, hung Who out started a little it? bit. So um, I just want to let you know that uh, we're going to be attending the KSI versus Logan Paul fight tonight. So I hope to see you guys there. And oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God. I felt nothing until they started fighting. Olivia's been almost crying. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so scared. He was like, so like, just worked so fucking hard, was so smart, like so healthy, like all this shit that just inspired me. Like he made, like was so like impressed by my songwriting. Like, especially when I would like send him songs I wrote about him. He was like, I can't believe like you just wrote this today. Like you just like went into the studio and like wrote about a conversation we had. I'm like, that's my job. But mm -hmm. he was so impressed by it that it made me like want to work harder and like try to impress him. And I would write these songs and be like, here's this song, like whatever. And I just loved like his reaction. And I just want someone that inspires me like that. And a lot of those guys that do that and are successful, they're douchebags. Hand in huh. hand. Well, it, basically I found out that this guy I was talking to like hooked up with someone else. Um, and like we were, we weren't dating, but we were like, exclusive like at least i mean he, that's what he told me and then when i found out instead of asking him about it or asking who it was or whatever i just didn't talk to him for a whole month a i'm nice to everyone, everyone else everyone i'm else. nice to yeah. everyone who's the person that i know then what the purple hair girl who just made fun of me and where's the purple hair i goes over it i'll really? be honest with yeah. you you kind of fucking deserve it logan thank you i'm sorry it, yeah like, logan, you're a piece of shit no i'm not saying that oh, but okay, as far as like as far as like Fuck, actually, because I, I just forgot anymore. What is she not proud of you for? There's My a therapist? Yeah, did she ever like, ooh, Olivia, maybe that wasn't the healthiest thing to do right now? Um, Hooking out with my exes. Oh, God. Always a tragic topic. The Poets Corner. Today, I prepared a short poem for you called Fuck Boys. So no, I will not come over because you can't make me come. Thank you. I just feel attacked by the poem, to be honest with you. <laughs> Why do you speak? I feel like that was directed at me. As a self-proclaimed fuckboy, I feel personally attacked. Oh, I thought you meant like personally. Like they uh, the yeah, 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 I did mean that because I just said that. You feel that. personally attacked. <laughs> the shirt says I will not go to Encino. What makes you think that this is anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Mike. Maybe the fact that we live in Encino. You've historically been very anti Encino. Mm -hmm. What is it about the township that really bothers you? Oh, I just feel like a lot of a lot of experiences that I've had here, I just associate with um, like unpleasant memories. Um, I don't want to go for this detail right now, but I've had I've had multiple mo with multiple different people in multiple different areas, but it always seems to go back to Encino. All of the trauma. You you classically or infamously had shirts that mm -hmm. said, "I, I will, will not go, go to Encino." To Encino. Did you end up in Encino I, again? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we went on his podcast recently. We're friends. So you guys are cool. Yeah. We're like best friends. That's awesome. <laughs> the <da> <laughs> She's like, yeah, we're best friends. We were probably hooked dating, up last week. The dating is the most recent time that it happened. It was like I had just gotten out of something 
and the night that I, I I had gotten essentially kind of it wasn't dating this guy but I like got dumped over text and I was like I had I had seen him for the first Logan for the first time in a long time at a party the night before and so I was like fuck this I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hang out with him well, I saw you recently for the first time in a while and and the first thing you said to me was wow your hair is disgusting <laughs> I don't think you're wrong but you could have just, well, I, I we said, have, nice to see you We have that kind of relationship where no, I can we have don't. No, we, no, we do not. Yeah, we do. No, yeah, no do. we don't. So you I'll make do fun it. of my dancing when I try to have fun at parties. You always, you always go out of your way and you come no, up to me I and tell do. me, yes, you do. You say, you have no, you're so awkward. You're, you're a okay, nerd. You you're making me. it seem like I literally come up to you and bully you. Well, hold on. You I can attest. You do. You, you roast him all day. And by the way, I think part of the reason is because he needs to get fucking roasted. Exactly. And you, and, and, I'm and here you to do put it. him in his place. Correct. To tell him what's up. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm humbling you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever, dude. What? I've cried myself to sleep because of you, Olivia. No, you bro. haven't. I you literally haven't. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm definitely lying. Exactly. And I called Sydney and I was like, Sydney, we're getting fucking wasted tonight. And I drove my car and I played my all my sad songs I listened to and I cried a little bit and I just let it all out and I was just like, oh my God, I'm so sad. And then I got to my house. I took a fucking sip. I took another fucking sip. I put some makeup on. I got cute and then I haven't cried once since and I haven't thought about it since. I went to a, a party with my friend. And I saw him and I went up to him and I said, Logan, I just got dumped and I need you to have sex with me tonight because I, you're the only person that I can hook up with and not feel anything for. And he was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> I really need to stop rummaging through the trash to find men. <laughs> um, <laughs> when yeah. you tweeted that, did you go back to your exes and start recycling? What did, um, I think it was like the day <laughs> after that. Was this three days ago? I think that was the no <laughs> I think that was the day that the guy like stopped talking to me and I just posted that because I was like eh, it's funny but do you mean that well I mean I just always like guys that are just like we've talked about we talked about this I like guys that are just I know are gonna be bad you have demons of your own correct <laughs> yeah I do, obviously. Like, what, do you, what do you think that guy's saying about you? Like, um, I, don't know. I love how she laughed. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's a sicko. I'm okay. okay. I'm a nice person. You are, no, you are a nice person. She's fantastic. You, uh, I'm, you yeah, can, I'm, you can I'm be a, a nice. You can be a nice person. It's not called sociopath. That's about him. So. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a sociopath. <laughs> Speaking of that, don't you have a song called Sociopath yeah, coming do. out tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. April second. Mm -hmm. Where'd you find the inspiration for that particular track? Let's just call it what it is. Like, so the song's about Logan Paul, right? Because he is he is that to a certain degree. A sociopath? Yes, I would assume. Has he, no emotion, so I can do and say whatever I want, and he it's, thinks it's hilarious. We're is so that friends. A good thing. Oh yeah, we do. She described to me the other day. She's like, you know, like I can be mean to you because. Uh, uh, because you have no feelings and I know it, none of it affects you. And I'm like, meanwhile, I'm crying on the inside. I'm you like, literally, yeah, the only time you've ever cried is about a video of John Cena. I fucking love John Cena. <laughs> I swear. I love. According to him, he's like, I gave you so much content. Like, I'm amazing. <laughs> he thinks he's amazing because he gave me so much content. And I, I do. I say, I'm like, thank you so much. You gave me my some of my best songs. Um, I really appreciate it. And I love, also, I love all his friends. His friends are the best people ever. I'm friends with literally all of his friends. It's yeah. like, there was no reason for us to not be friends. Like, I just don't care. And I get more mad at my guy friends when they hurt other girls than when they hurt me. Cause I'm just like, I like, at the end of the day, if you're gonna hurt me, I'm gonna make money off of you. I'm a big fan, she knows that. She's been uh, like, I listen to this all the time. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I have yeah. to say, Dave. Like he has all my new songs. I send them, him all my songs after I write them, so. David, David gets included in so many friendships mm -hmm. uh, that are, you know, uh, side effects of girls that are involved or whatever. and. When I tell you, you are his fa absolute favorite person. He he fucking loves you. <laughs> and awesome. Jocelyn's about. Oh! <laughs> and don't put that in. Don't put it in. <laughs> it was. So I was so so about that. I go, hey, this shit's about. <laughs> no. She goes, yeah. No, if you're. And also, like, I get that. I, and by the way, respect. not that it's embarrassing, but it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Just because, like, the way that people think about him. I think he's um, very entertaining. He is. He's uh, yes. He's quite entertaining. Very yeah. entertaining. Um, yeah. But I've you know I just knew my fans would not. They would be disappointed at me. 
<laughs> also, like, I I just hate when people know too personal of details. Like, I'll I'll say the most personal things ever, but then just like leave names out mm-hmm. so that people don't assume things. Like, 